Hey, what is up everyone? This video is going to be talking about nested while loops and we're actually going to be basically copying a, an earlier program where we did nested for loops. So if you didn't see that video, it looks, it looks like this. We wanted to create an application to output this. So it ultimately comes down to one loop to go from zero to 10 and then another loop to go from that number down to zero. And this was the result we found. We're gonna do the same thing with the while loop. And it ultimately comes down to just taking this and converting it to while loops, which I would encourage you to do as a coding challenge. So definitely pause it now. Okay, now that you got the solution, <laughs> check out what I got and see if you got the same thing. So here's what I'm gonna do. I just got this here for reference, just so I can make sure I got it right. I'm gonna initialize two variables and it's gonna be int i equals zero and k. I think I can do that. Yep, looks good. Then while i is less than 11. So this is the loop to go from zero to 10 and we wanna make it less than 11 so that we include 10 there. So as long as it's less than 11, we're going to print it. And um, I was going through this exercise earlier and I forgot to do the update like I said I always do. And I'll show you what I got. <laughs> um, I don't know why I put a D there. I want to put an I there. There we go. All right, let's compile and run. Yay, this is definitely not what we want. <laughs> this is because I is eternally under 11 because we're not updating the value. So cancel that and we need to do I++. Okay, the only other thing is that they're printing one after the other. So at the end of this, we want to print a new line and we're putting it at the end because between here is where we're going to basically output the rest of the numbers. So we don't want it to be like one and then count down from one on the next line. We want it to be on the same line and then go down to the next line. So in here, we're just gonna put a backslash in. Okay. All right, looks good, we got that. And then we're going to have a nested while loop right here and we're going to basically count down from whatever the i value is at that time down to zero. So k is going to be the thing to decrement down to zero. So we're gonna say, k, uh, we're gonna do that. Uh, let's say while k is greater than uh, one, or not one, while k is greater than or equal to zero. There we go. Then we're going to say k minus minus and we're gonna print out K. We need to initialize it still, so don't let me forget that part. Okay, so where do we initialize K? Uh, we're going to want to initialize K right here. We don't wanna initialize K right here because we're doing a comparison on K, which that's not gonna work the way we, it's, we, we don't know what's gonna happen in that scenario because we're, we're uh, comparing against a an uninitialized variable, which is definitely bad. And we don't wanna do outside of this while loop because the value of K changes for each iteration. So in the first one, it's nothing. Then we have zero, then we have one, and then we have two, and then three, all the way up to nine, and each time it goes down to zero. So we definitely wanna do it right here. So we're gonna say K is equal to I and uh, we could actually probably want to do k, k equals i minus one. So that way the first printing is one less than whatever this number is. So we count down. So it's probably all messed up, but let's give it a try. Okay, i got something messed up here. I'm gonna print k. Okay, um, what do we got here? Oh, okay, see, this is it's harder to do with while loops. We got this increment here, which is changing the value of i before we assign it to k. So this k, this k should just go up at the top of the while loop. So much more confusing to read while loops, in my opinion. There we go. Yeah, that would make sense because obviously we don't want to change the value of i prior to referencing it when we're trying to base it off of the original value of i. 
we could change everything to reference the the new incremented value of i but that just doesn't make as much sense in my brain but everyone's different so if you're if you think differently well you're probably wrong i'm just kidding <laughs> thank you guys for watching hopefully um hopefully this is the right output and hopefully you guys understand everything with